to the channel. It's terrific. And I've got a 700 page Leviathan from Centipede Press to show you today. The thing came in the mail this morning and I'm just now getting to it. It's been a long day and a lot of stuff going on, but hey, I'm in. Exciting. I don't always get to add every Centipede Press title that comes out. Most people don't. It's sometimes a race, a mad dash. And we've recently seen a mad dash with the powers of darkness, but I was lucky enough to land one. It's coming this way. I'll show you when it comes in. But this one is Masters of Science Fiction, Jack Dan, an author who I've not read, but it's exciting because uh, we've got here a collection of short stories and it's signed this time by the author. Many, many of the Centipede Press titles are uh, covering authors who are now deceased. So when, when they cover an author who is still around, who's still around to tell the tale, it, it's, uh, it's nice. And without any further ado, let's take a look and see how she looks. So for those of you not familiar with Centipede Press, where you been? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Centipede Press is one of the most highly respected limited edition publishers out there. It's a, uh, it's a small business. And in many ways, I hear it's a one-man a one show. But they make quality books, fine books, that range in price from, from cheap for limited editions, 60 bucks. I think I paid $65 for this one, I think is what this one cost. And then the price can range up into the 700 plus, higher up, way higher than that. But anyway, there's a big span in pricing. Uh, so, there's a little bit of something for everybody. One of the excellent things about Centipede Press is I'm unboxing this and showing you how big of a box I have, which helps to protect, and some additional, additional, thank you, uh, something for me. I don't know if that's a message. I didn't get it, whatever it is. But a lot of space, a lot of cushion, the old-fashioned bubble wrap, which is good to protect my book. <clears throat> but we get sometimes books and, and authors, publications that everybody knows, everybody wants, everybody's excited for, and, and it becomes a mad dash to try to get it. And then sometimes you get publications from people that you never heard of before. And those that's part of what makes it exciting. Because it introduces people like me to authors that I've never actually heard of. So it, it broadens our horizons, and I, I dig it. I like that part of it. But let's, uh, let's get onto this book. That's what we came here to see. That's why I'm here anyway. I don't know about you. I came here to see this book. Otherwise, I got other things to do. But let's open her up and see what she look like. So you can see right on the, well, I can see right on the front. We got a big book in a bag. I told you they say 700 page monster, pretty big book, a heavy book. This one features artwork from Jim and Ruth Keegan. Let me take off this plastic and get started showing you what kind of artwork we're talking about. Because I, the sneak peek I'm getting right here looks really nice. I'd seen the picture of the front of this dust jacket already. Well, let's stop messing around and show you. I'd already seen this picture of the dust jacket, but I hadn't seen the rest of it. So let's show you the rest of it. And for those of you not familiar with Centipede Press, I'm gonna take off this dust jacket here, this beautiful dust jacket. We'll look at it more closely here in a second. But I'm gonna show you a neat little feature about this publisher that we don't always get. Not only do you get fine cloth boards, Smith's sewn bindings, uh, built-in ribbon page marker. Let's look at the top of it. Uh, you can tell here mine's numbered 263 apparently. But you also get additional stuff. These books, if I was to set this book on the shelf just like it sits, it looks nice. It looks classy. The centipede press, the hot foil stamping, the artwork of itself right there on the front of the book. Um, so a nice feature of centipede press, one of the things that makes it a great publisher. Now, I, I pulled that dust jacket off, but I wanted to stretch it out and show you 
because this, again, this is our, uh, our cover artwork by Jim and Ruth Keegan. And you can see it all kind of adds together. Beautiful artwork, beautiful dust jacket. This is going to look excellent on my shelf and uh, some excellent addition to my reading pleasure. But let's take a look at this one, open it up and see what we can see. There are our, our end papers, a solid color there. Let's, uh, what do I want to look at first? First of all, let's look at the signature page. How's that? What do you think about that? I'm going to go to the back. Uh, I, I don't like to be fooled, so I'm going to go right to the back this time. For those of you who are not familiar, again, with the publisher, look in the back for the signature page before you start saying, I didn't, mine's not signed. I thought I bought a signed copy, what have you. But there's our signature page. Mine is number 263, signed by Jack Dan, George Zabrowski, who wrote the introduction, as well as... Uh, uh, Jim and Ruth Keegan. They both signed it, Jim and Ruth. Now, this one has a blank spot there for John Peelan. Uh, from there, let's take a look and see what kind of artwork we have inside the book. And our frontispiece, a black and white image there. What else is there in this book? So there's, it's a collection of short stories, some not so short and some pretty short <clears throat> uh, image of our author right there. I want to take a look in here and see what kind of artwork is uh, involved right in the beginning. And this, this is common with the series. You get some candid photos of the author, kind of a, a getting to know you sort of a, an introduction, the beginning of the book. And then I'm not sure about uh, interior illustrations. The uh, the website, I think, mentioned dust jacket illustrations, so there might not be any more in, included in here. I'm just going to look just to make sure, see what else there is. Uh, for those of you who are interested with the font size, how readable is it? So in this case, we're looking at uh, relatively small print. It's a lot of stories. It's a lot of stuff jam-packed into what's already a big book. But imagine if the font size was bigger, how much bigger that book might be. Uh, you'd need some big guns to be able to hold it up, to be able to read it. Let's flipping through here. I, I'm not seeing any additional interior illustrations besides what I've just shown you. So there you have it. You have the Masters of Science Fiction, another addition to the collection. This one is, in fact, Jack Dan. And I uh, can think of no more lies to tell so say la vie, baby.